That doesn't look like any kind of rope I've ever seen. It's like a, ooh. It's like a harpoon rope. Okay. Yeah. You might burn your hands a little bit, but hopefully you're sm smart enough not to do that. I, I can predict this stuff, but I can't stop him from... Oh. It doesn't matter, we... Escaped. What's up guys, welcome to the Henry Stickman Collection, a group of some of the most classic Flash games ever made. I mean, you've got breaking the bank, escaping the prison, stealing the diamond, infiltrating the airship, fleeing the complex, and now, after five years, an all new game, completing the mission. Now, finally, an actual ending to Henry's story, but to get there, we gotta start at the very beginning. Uh, apparently, all of our choices are gonna matter now, you know, the games are connected, which is fine by me, because they've also remastered all of the old games. It's gonna be an all-new experience, so I'm gonna play the first few today, and if you guys end up enjoying it, as always, leave a like on the video. If this video ends up getting 30,000 likes, then I'll return to play the next game. I think it's safe to say I never thought I would be playing a Henry Stickman game in full screen. It just feels a little weird, like 1080p, beautiful, high resolution, 60 frames per second. It's still hand-drawn, it's still got that classic Flash game feel and style to it, but it just looks so much better. And also, I should probably mention right now, once again, I'm gonna try to 100% the game for you guys. It's not just gonna be the successes, I'm also gonna find all of the fails, and now they've also added achievements which I'm guessing you probably just find by screwing around, as well as character bios. So if you see a character in a cutscene, you gotta click on them so that you can learn more about them later on. If I was trying to break into a bank in the middle of the desert, what would I use? Probably a shovel. You know, I feel like it's really difficult to accidentally kill yourself with a shovel. <laughs> That's what you gotta take into consideration here. We've got our trusty Hyrulean shovel firmly between our cheeks, and we're gonna get to digging. Uh, gas main. I mean, I really wouldn't have expected them to get city utilities all the way out here. What does a bank need gas for, especially in the middle of the desert? So if the bank's walls are full of pipes, and those pipes are full of explosive gas, then maybe we can use that to our advantage? Maybe a little controlled explosion? That is not little or controlled. <laughs> Come on now, like, is it a gas bank? Is that a thing? It's a good thing we wanna see all the fails today because it would be extra embarrassing to fail at a game that you've already beaten on camera. I've beaten all of these games before. Like, it was years ago, so I can't remember any of the outcomes, but like at the same time, when I rationalized the fact that like Henry is probably at the bleeding edge of technology, so he's more of a teleporter kind of guy, then I'd like to be right. And there's only four buttons. I'm sure you can figure out which is the through the wall button. That was the in the wall button. <laughs> Great, so now those pipes are full of explosive gas and stick man dick. You know what, I'm gonna reframe this. Instead of trying to figure out what the right answer is, I'm gonna try to figure out what the wrong answer is because I'm really good at that and that way it looks like I'm right for being wrong. So what do you think is the wrong answer? Laser, wrecking ball, or disguise? I mean, clearly he's not gonna survive the laser. What are you gonna do? Look directly into it? Cut yourself in half? Crush yourself to death? That was gonna be my third guess! I've got a 50-50 chance of being right or wrong, and I've talked myself in circles, so I don't even remember what is right or what is wrong. We're just gonna go with Wrecking Ball. I, I feel like you could do a little Miley Cyrus impression. M maybe you could... Oh, 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 oh! Hey, got myself a bio! <laughs> All right. Where is he directing you? Huh. I also got an achievement. Interesting. I, I, oh, there's no construction scheduled for today. Clearly gotta follow all of the rules and regulations when breaking into a gas bank. And last, but certainly not least, we're gonna disguise ourselves as a giant bag of money out in the middle of the desert. Completely inconspicuous. <laughs> Are they really gonna fall for this? Yeah. How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. Yeah, just to be safe. Oh! Hey! Wonder why there's a 
bank out here? Yes! Well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, that makes sense. Well, like a, a gas vault? Except clearly you guys have a whole bunch of money. <laughs> Jackpot. Okay, play it cool. Wait, what am I saying playing cool? The next game is called Escaping the Prison, clearly. You're not gonna play it cool. Ah, uh, all right. Well, it was a good attempt. So we managed to beat the game. We found all the fails. We found all the bios, but we only got three of four achievements. We're missing chirp chirp. Can't have that going all day with the pair of car keys. Well, we know there's a parking lot full of cars out in front of the bank, and like clearly they're there for a reason. So the question is, how can I interact with them? Or which of these options would let me interact with the cars in the parking lot? I think the shovel did, right? Because it panned out for the explosion. The explosives had way too much of an explosion. That just took everything. The teleporter and the laser stayed at this frame. And then the wrecking ball also panned out when we were backing up the crane. Same kind of thing for the disguise when the truck was driving in. I'll start with the shovel, okay? We'll do this. Once again, you can dig yourself an early grave. I know you're so excited. <laughs> you stupid, stupid idiot. Go ahead and hit pay dirt. There we go. What does that say? Gas main. Ta-da! And... Yeah! There we go! <laughs> okay, so that's everything for this game. Moving on to escaping the prison, and once again, we're going to do a bit of a dry run, you know, see if we can find all of the fails, because there are a lot of them, as well as a whole bunch more achievements, and a crap load of bios. Okay, I'm going to try to get this all done in one video, like, I don't know how complicated these games are going to get. Oh, are you? Hello? You're free to go. No, I'm Henry. <laughs> Not really. Oh. But you've got a package. Don't get your hopes up. We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job, and I don't lose my job. <laughs> See you around. Bye. Uh, if, if you don't want to lose your job, hmm. could you maybe change my poop cauldron? Ooh. Oh. You see, at first I thought it was a chocolate cake, but it turns out it's a file, Gatorade, teleporter, rocket launcher, cell phone, drill cake. My favorite! Before we get into trying the dangerous stuff, like personal teleporters and indoor rocket launchers and pogo drills, we're gonna try a classic, okay? A file snuck into prison in a cake. I have no doubt you'll find some way to kill yourself with it, but... Oh, right. After the first game, things got a little bit more complicated, but it's not just going to be five wrong answers and one right answer. There's going to be, you know, a couple of wrong answers and a couple of kind of right answers. You know, branching paths, alternate endings, that kind of thing. Well, if that's the case, I think I'd rather go with the window. Don't really want to run into Dave in the hall. That'd be real awkward after the mess that I made in last week's poop cauldron. <laughs> Right, on the 12th floor, very important to remember. You know what, I could actually think of some advantages using the door. Like after that rude joke that Rupert made at my expense, I wouldn't mind running into him in the hallway. Shove his head in the poop cauldron and we'll definitely run into him. <laughs> Come on now, like I, I didn't know I needed to react. I'm using 100% of my brain to be a smart ass. I can't just shuttle 5% of it into motor skills. He likes to think he's gonna drop kick me in the lips again, but I don't think so. <laughs> Going full blown Donatello. Oh no, no, Dave, not today. <laughs> that was Dave, right? Hopefully. Oh, 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 hi, hello. Gonna be taking those bios and then. Way to go, Henry. Made a decision without me. <laughs> Do we want a belt of grenades or a chair? <laughs> decisions, decisions. Broken chair, belt of high explosives. Uh, sure, why not? What's Yo, the worst that could happen? Hi, guys. What the? Oh, did it bounce back into the room? Grenades don't usually beep. That was weird. I guess then again, prisons don't usually have belts of grenades in the janitor's closet. 
Something tells me taking the broken chair as a hostage isn't going to help all that much. We can't really leverage this in negotiations. Oh. Okay, left or right? It's gotta be right. Right? Right is always right. This looks promising. That wasn't us. Good. Okay, we made it to the roof. Yeah. So now we've got uh, rope, parachute, plungers, or a jetpack. That doesn't look like any kind of rope I've ever seen. It's like a, ooh. A harpoon rope. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you might burn your hands a little bit, but hopefully you're sm smart enough not to do that. I, I can predict this stuff, but I can't stop him from. Oh. It doesn't matter. We escaped. Oh, man, this game. Even after I accurately predict stuff, it still circumvents expectations to kick you in the pants. Let's try the parachute, okay? If they've got a parachute on the roof, then it has to be for good reason. I'm sure that there's enough distance between the roof and the ground for the parachute to open. Wasn't a parachute. It was a backpack full of crap. Who was packing to go bowling on the prison roof? <laughs> Come on! Do you think any of these answers are the correct solution? Did I just run myself into a dead end? I'm gonna try the plungers, because I get the feeling the jetpack is gonna explode. Plungers, I can only lose an eye, worst case scenario. Right? Slow and steady. Nice and careful. Yeah! There you go! The sneaky escapist. Well, there's our first ending. I'm pretty sure there are gonna be a whole bunch of them, but... I still kind of want to see that jetpack explode. You are out, right? You're... I mean, he's out in the middle of the desert. I, I, I guess there could be a bank nearby to rob. I was about to head back up to the roof to watch the jetpack spectacularly fail, but then I realized we haven't seen what's to the left. What do you think might be over here? Maybe more options? Maybe escape? No, it's not entirely unreasonable. Hearing a whole lot of talking. Oh, oh, ah, uh, that's a, a lot of bios. Hi, hi. Well, at least we got introduced to the staff. A teensy tiny little part of me inside wants to believe that this is going to work, but there's just no way. Really, clearly, it's going to go terribly, terribly wrong. Oh, 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 okay. I was about to say at least it didn't fail spectacularly, but of course not. Hi, are you new? You are new. I'm Henry. I might also be dead. I know we failed like nine out of ten times with the file, but I'm gonna say we found moderate success. And after that, it's very important to hydrate. Let's go ahead and have ourselves a drink. Oh, yeah, that, that those are some heavy duty electrolytes. Uh whoa. <laughs> what? Hi! Yep, that will be Stabby Steve. Probably already met both of you. Oh, yep, that's uh, Rupert's. We're just gonna <laughs> toss you in the garbage. It's not quite the poop cauldron, but sure. Have I been introduced to any of you guys? Doesn't look like it. Have myself a donut. Is this really gonna work? There's no way this is gonna work. Huh. Oh, oh no. That's a heart attack. <laughs> How is that a fail? We got out! I, I, I know we dropped dead, but still, the goal is freedom, mission accomplished! If we're gonna go ahead and use the teleporter, can we please just not end up with our dick in a wall? Or our dick in Rupert, or our dick in Dave, just- I, I don't want my dick in anything! I just want to teleport... Outside! Oh, oh! Hi, guys! Oh, well, I guess one of you are gonna be joining me, aren't you? I could use a cellmate. I don't know if they would put a bank robber and a murderer together, but that's a decision for the one of you who didn't shoot me. Do you remember when you were younger? You know, probably playing this game for the very first time, you know, on a computer behind the teacher's back, and when you talk a little bit too loud, she'd tell you to use your indoor voice? Well, I don't think there's such thing as an indoor rocket launcher, but 
<laughs> Fingers crossed? I mean, I don't think there's a collapsible rocket launcher either, so maybe I'll be proven wrong. Oh, we've already met you. You're the janitor. Oh, oh okay. Probably should have worn safety goggles or something. Between rocket-propelled backpacks and rocket-propelled grenades, I, I think things are getting a little bit too dangerous around here. So how about we pick up the phone, we're gonna give Dave a call, he's gonna come swap out the poop cauldron, or we will call our attorney, F. White? September 9th, District Courts. Why didn't I do this ages ago? Please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored van, but suddenly spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. OBJECTION! So, the defendant crawled into that bag in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Who's this idiot? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Yeah, yeah, present the evidence, Phoenix. Judge Santa wants to know. Oh, crap, I need to be the one to show the evidence. <laughs> oh, what are our options? Attorney's badge, disguising bag, floor plans of the bank, mysterious device, doctor's analysis, or security footage. Interesting. Uh, I don't remember any of this. In a world where wrong answers are technically right answers, do I really need to worry about life in prison? Go ahead and show off your fancy badge, attorney man. What is this? It's evidence. Is and it? How exactly does this prove anything? Well, I. <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. Ooh. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Yeah, not what we were. Actually, no, that is what we're looking for because we're looking for fails, but. <laughs> Lo and behold, proving that you're a lawyer isn't evidence. This, on the other hand, looks promising. The bag the defendant used to sneak into the bank, the knot is tied on the outside of the bag. I don't know how we managed to pull that off, but... Take that! I like it! Is... is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? What? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! <laughs> As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious! <laughs> This is absurd. I didn't present that. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There were millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. Come back to haunt him now. I didn't choose this evidence. You guys can't, you can't, you, this, you can't be happening to me. <laughs> well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find the defendant, Henry Stickman. Yeah. I mean, an innocent man had to go to jail, but uh, screw it. Oh, 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 we've got crap. I missed some. Are we really gonna go rob another bank? We, we lawyered up! Yeah, you know what? That's what you pay lawyers for. You, you just give them a little bit of evidence, they'll do the rest of the work. I don't need to pick it all. So we know the three things that needed to be used to defend myself, but there were like six. So there are more wrong answers available in court. I was wrong. It turns out the only two options are guilty or not guilty. If you choose any of the wrong evidence, then it just plays the exact same thing. Which means all we have left is the personal pogo drill. <laughs> yeah, something tells me this is not going to end particularly well. I mean, we should just drill into the cell below us. 
shouldn't we? Maybe there's, oh, never mind. There's a bathroom below us that seems to be blocked off. Okay, uh, do we want to use the opacitator or the crowbar? I don't even know what an opacitator is. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. I'm sure this won't go poorly. Does it just change your opacity? Uh, well, just move the blue slider to the right and you'll become as opaque. That means see-through for you uneducated folks as you want. Not only that, but the more opaque you get, the easier it will be for you to pass through solid objects. Okay. Oh. Um, you, you, you dropped the, you dropped the opacitator. Oh crap, oh, hi folks, hello. <laughs> Help. No, no. That's not good. Okay then, so that's that's just another game over. I had high hopes for the mystery box that we found in an abandoned bathroom, but apparently it's just gonna send you to the center of the earth. <laughs> Let's try something a little bit simpler, shall we? Crowbar and a manhole cover. Hello, uh, good to meet you guys. Uh, <laughs> That's a very big gun. Run, run, run away. They wouldn't help you. Oh, we're going up. We're going. No, we're going down. Like, literally, we're going down on the ground because otherwise we're going to get shot in the head. It's amazing how you can fall through the lobby like a ghost and be completely ignored, except once you start sprinting through it, then you're just the bell of the ball. Let's try going through the... I wanted to go through the door. I didn't think you were gonna do a backflip there. Hello, oh, we've met before. Uh, I am not ready. I'm super not ready. I don't have a gun. He's got a big gun. Oh, have we met guys? Okay, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and I'm dead. What was the answer there? Get ready for what? To get shot in the face? You're not making any sense. What am I supposed to do? Click, click, oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, we threw a bullet. What? Oh yeah, you had better be pissed scared. If you'll all excuse me, I'm gonna be leaving now, yes, right. I am gonna leave now, aren't I? We are short one good ending. I'd imagine they don't want to mess with a guy who can throw bullets. Yeah! <laughs> Badass bust downs. So that's all of the endings, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them, right? There's one where we had to fall at one point, but... Oh, we still have two more fails, though. Where? I'm willing to bet that doing nothing at all counts as a unique ending. We'll just get shot as we run. There's another one. What else can I do nothing on? I know where there's another place for me to fail. I managed to beat you, but I never let Dave get the better of me. <laughs> there we go. There's a tasing and that completes it. 18 unique endings. There's no way I'm going to be able to find all of the other stuff, though. I actually did manage to find all of the good endings, the bad endings, and the bios, which I'll look at later. Maybe the last episode we'll read through all of the bios together, but like, we've got three achievements left and they're not all that descriptive, so I, I think I might need to save these as well. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of the Henry Stickman Collection, guys. And like I said, if you wanna see me return, if you wanna see this become a series, leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know. I'm definitely excited, not just to check out the remastered games, because reliving this is just so much damn fun, but also the new game. I wanna get to completing the mission and see how all of this ends. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.